what everyone so i was just scrolling through the kenya basketball fraternity forum and uh, this post was made about in august 1st and i just saw this and just caught my eye so let's just get into it so this is this post by james nyasimi he's a member watching volleyball being played on a basketball court is so disappointing even more discouraging the fact that the gym is full of cheering fans yet basketball can't even attract a tenth of the same crowd at this rate, in two years, we will have forgotten that basketball was played in this traditional gym since '87. So sad. So um, apparently, the volleyball team sells out the the gym. I mean, it's uh, it's it's an interesting sight to see. But what I can say is this: um, volleyball has majority of the time been selling out. Like that place, when they do it outside, they get a lot of people. But the price tag that they put, that KBF puts on the entrance, you have to pay like 200 on the gate. I mean, that's what makes like a limited audience going in there. But I digress. So let's just look at the comments because people had some interesting things to say. So this guy as well said, that's a basketball gym, not a volleyball one. The place is too small for a competitive volleyball match. Chasing spiked balls everywhere and the useless scoreboards above the gym makes it even harder for those high volleys that the volleyballers can afford to pay for the facilities for the whole year yeah i mean um it, it's it's a it's a very interesting sight to see what is it that they have done differently that kbf couldn't do i mean kbf okay they have a lot of things that they can do there's a lot of things that need to change just that the attitude that the i feel like the attitude that the front office has even the board has um honestly i don't think that it goes in line with improving the way the sport is and also how the teams and the sports the way they are conducted in there so another guy comes in with a comment he says i feel your pain that's why you advocate for better leadership accountability and sobriety true uh in the next cycle of leader leaders who are going to be elected i know the last elections was last year january it went under the radar so people didn't you know uh uh, be forthright and be like uh, thorough with uh, what they wanted but you know it's if it's, a, it's an election you know people get elected they get to those seats and uh, not the most qualified people can get elected because you can think that this guy knows what he does knows what he can do in there but because he got the majority vote you know that good that doesn't check off as the past that this guy can be able to achieve that so so this guy the author of the post i guess the basketball fraternity is okay with this i presume yeah no i can say majority of the players are fed up even some of the league officials are fed up it's just that um there's little you can do but right now is there, there's a pending there's a court case going on I, be, I believe against kbf so let's just see how that pans out they settled for mediocrity true uh i i I, can, I could agree with this and uh right here we're just trying to see if we can drive change and have you know better basketball being played kbf is full of people so this guy said kbf full of people who think they owe us a favor yeah true very bogus so that's true uh they would say some some people might argue that uh these guys are doing these games for us no these games are supposed to be there it's supposed to be done professionally and i don't feel like uh kbf uh, is is that that point where they do things professionally they're not they still have a yahoo email and they could buy a domain so i digress so this guy comes in the comments says who who to blame is it the fans or the administration for bringing down the game hope you're a big brother to operate to elaborate this <laughs> so i mean the guys who are to blame just to answer this comment it's the administration, the, the board members, the leadership. That's what's to blame. Because if the leadership was in line, everything goes in line from the players to the teams, team management to the the league. Everything just works like a well oiled machine. So it has to start from the top. It doesn't it's not like uh it's not like uh, the players okay, the players have power because they're the reason why the whole thing is there. But if the, the the order doesn't come from the top, it, nothing will change, and uh, it's it's also a fault for the it's also a fault to the players who support 
not support this like uh, this whole uh, situation but you know be being silent and not saying anything and uh, you just assuming just let's just continue with the way things are run now that's the big problem so uh, yeah it's majority of the time it's the front office and the administration that holds all the keys so the players just have to abide to that whether it's good or bad they just have to abide the fans have very little control of the affairs of KBF. The blame lies squarely on the stakeholders, starting from the Premier League clubs to the lower tier clubs for electing branch officials who care very little on the game's development. So this guy just answered the question. The fans, okay, the fans can, can't do as much, but it all comes down to the stakeholders of the league. So this guy answered the question perfectly. I couldn't agree with him more. Then this other guy said, well said, if I remember the the day when I, when we used to do Oraco Apple basketball gym from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Now volleyballers are the ones training for the tournaments. Sad indeed, true. It's, it's a very sad. Things need to change, but it seems basketball. <laughs> but it seems for basketball they have changed for the worse. True. I mean, uh, when it comes down to the leadership, the way the league is conducting, the game officials, the venues. I mean, um, okay, there are some good things that have happened, but I mean, there's the the bad that will be good in this situation. That's true, but the power belongs to the players. If they say enough is enough, and they say we will not play, who will the officials lord over? The power to change is more with the players. Remember, initially, Premier League teams never used to vote, but because of pressure, they had to be included. True. Uh, down to this, the down to the your last unit, the player. If the players refuse to play, there are no team manager. A team manager is not import is not you is not useful without a team, and the team manager will not get anything from the league because the league is the players. So if the players realize that their value that they offer and what they bring to the table is very much important, it will make the league shape up. But if you don't have a united front like a players union these efforts might be deemed futile so um yeah so it just comes down to the players forcing the management to change uh, yeah and the players being backed by the fans will force the management to change things the way they run them how are players in Wengine true <laughs> not not everyone is united not everyone has like um like a united front and a stand we don't know where people's interests lie. Maybe this player just wants to abide well so that he can, you know, remain on the roster. You don't want to be uh, looking like the player who doesn't want to be part of this and condemns these things. Then you get blackballed. So that's the fear that majority of the players have, even the teams. If uh, if the federation finds you that um, you are going against the code, you're going to get blackballed and you don't even know. The team even can get shut down. So you even get relegated. That's the power that we have given them and they're you know they're not working towards even improving so they use that power against you so it's high time for people to stand up and you know you know change things cold hard facts true so sad yeah i uh, i couldn't agree with you there it's a very sad state of affairs i couldn't agree with you more let me just say this the current office is a representation of many that voted them in if you want change then it's not rock and sand's true. Why do you vote for these people? Why? Why put them in there? Why allow the coronation to continue? The entry is only 100 bob. And I can't achieve 50 bob. <laughs> yeah, it's so sad. So uh, that's just a, this is just a bunch of comments uh, based on that post. And I just found it interesting that people are now waking up to the realization that things need to change. And the way K KBF has been operating can say they have done some good things like they they took us to the new venue for the Olympic sports complex i hope they just continue there but the way the league is being conducted like they need to they feel like they can do better and people are just waking up to the, for the fact that things need to change so and uh, i just saw this and i just said let me just get my two cents on it so you guys in the comments just tell me what you think about this because uh, this post was made first of August. I didn't, I didn't see it. I didn't see it at first, but when I refreshed the feed, then went back at it because I don't use Facebook as much. But when I, you know, uh, get in, get the chance to get in Facebook, I just check on what people have been saying, 
and uh, this post actually caught my eye. So uh, tell me you guys what you think of the comments, and uh, I'm out. I'm gonna see you guys in the next upload.